Hello everyone, Man of Thrall here, and welcome to a Hardcore Iron Man update video slash channel news video. Uh, if you guys remember, I like kind of doing those together. Just makes it better, if you ask my opinion. Uh, but first off, we'll get into the Hardcore Iron Man update. Uh, he's actually currently, I haven't been playing it very much, and that's part of what the news is. Uh, but I am at 2050 for his total level, and I do have a 99 if you guys did not see that video before, and that is Dungeoneering. And the nice thing about having some Dungeoneering is my first 99 is that it provides those teleports. So now I have all these teleports to go to so many places. So yeah, I mean, I can't go to them all yet. But, there is a lot of stuff I can do here, so that is extremely good news for me. Not to mention, if you do it that way as well, you're pretty much guaranteed, unless you go blowing your points on other stuff, to have both your all, well, well at this point you would probably have augmented, because, well, invention, you know, training your other skills up too. But at this point, you know, you would have your chaotic crossbows, your chaotic maul, and chaotic staff, you know, I have all these things and they're all ready to go thanks to that. Now if I wanted to do more dual wielding, yeah, I would have to go back and do it more. I would need at least, was it approximately almost 3 mil XP just for the dual wielding melee weapons. So, uh, well, otherwise I would have just needed another 100k. But I wanted to get the two-hander first for particular reasons of boss fighting. Uh, it is actually, I have found it better to have a two-handed weapon for boss fighting than to have one-handed weapons. So, at least that's been my experience, not everybody's experience. Uh, I do have more corrupted sigils, so whenever I do finally get uh, some more bar stuff going, I want to be able to get... Um, each defender for each type. This way I have that for each one. Um, not only for an augmented piece for each, but for stuff for each. As you noticed, you know, I have uh, the accession, Ascension Keystones. Uh, so I'm doing quite well in that regard. And I do have a good deal of uh, the stuff actually completed. But now for the channel news that I wanted to get into. Oh, well, I have a good deal of ores, which the ore bags should be coming within a few months. But now for the upcoming news for the channel. Uh, I do know uh, there's quite a few people who actually do use the quest guides I make, and uh, some people have even thanked me for that, and I'm really happy that you found use for them and that you like those videos and you were able to use them to benefit you. That makes me quite happy. And I realize I haven't really been doing quest guides for quite some time now. And I haven't been really doing a whole lot of RuneScape stuff for quite some time now. It's been a lot of other games. So what I plan on doing is I plan on bringing RuneScape back into the channel just a bit more than I have recently. Sorry. So there is some games I am going to be having come to the channel but as time goes on I want to finish I want to have at most three games going RuneScape included at the same time at most three games uh, unless it's a short fun game that's just going to go here and there you know like uh, Happy Wheels you know that's a here and there kind of game when I'm not really sure what to record and that kind of I'm kind of in the mood for it and it lo looks like it'd be a lot of fun then yeah, I'm probably going to go for it because it, it is a fun game, but it's one of those where I can kind of just do it in the spur of the moment and it's not going to mess anything up. You know, it's not going to, you know, if I don't, if something happens with the recording or something goes on, it's, it's not going to be a big deal if it doesn't get out. Uh, whereas some of the others where I'm continuing one off the other or maybe after a big gap in time frame like I did for Banished, uh, that kind of gets to be a big deal. Uh, but Banished is finishing up, so that does mean I am going to be bringing in a different game to replace Banished. And 
Of course, as always, I want your guys' opinion. If you guys have any games you guys would like to see, I do want to start doing that as well. Because uh, I'm all for community involvement. And your guys', uh, what you guys will want to see, what you guys like to see, really reflect, reflects with me. Because um, I do know there's quite a few games I have, I have a list right here uh, that I want to actually start bringing into the channel, but I gotta kind of space it a little bit more. Player Unknown, uh, that's another one that's probably gonna be hit and miss here. I mean, eventually I'll bring bringing it back to the channel again, uh, mostly for the factor of maybe new weapons, new maps, etc., etc. And same with Rust. You know, I haven't played Rust for quite a long time, so that's probably gonna be soon coming back to the channel. And I think that's actually it right now as far as games go for the channel. Uh, you know, I'm finishing up a few, so, you know, RuneScape's going to be here. I'm probably going to have Rust for a little while, for a few weeks, and then I'm probably going to have another game going for a little bit. Uh, one I probably won't fully be mentioning. Oh, but I do have Albion Online, uh, so I do plan on playing that a few more times for the channel if you guys so desire. But, uh, that's where your guys' viewpoints do come in plan. Uh, you guys can reflect and change this channel to the content that you actually want to see. And of course, I will always be doing, um, you know, if I can, recommendation videos. As long as I have the proper uh, stuff here to be able to do that. Uh, there's actually, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. It just, it all depends on how things go. So, uh... But yeah, I do want to start bringing RuneScape back into the channel more because it's actually one of the core games that this channel is actually whoa, uh, based upon is um, RuneScape. It's actually one of the biggest ones. Now, it's not what the whole channel is about, but it is one of the biggest games for the channel. So, I'm sorry I haven't actually been doing anything here. I was planning on getting my guy ready here to go to do his next Slayer assignment, but I kind of got myself distracted with just rambling at, at you guys, not with you guys, but at you guys. Uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, there is some stuff that I do plan on bringing to the channel, so do expect to see good deal of that coming up. Whoa, that really lagged out there. So yeah, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up of what I have planned, you know, what's going to be going on. I don't want to leave you guys in the dark because I want you guys to be able to, you know, say like, hey, I, you know, I really don't like that game. Uh, I understand you do, but could you play this instead? Or hey, I like, there's this really awesome game I'd like for you to try it out. Uh, this is what it is. I'll go check it out. Like I said before, I have no problem checking out a game, seeing what it's like, and then going from there. Uh, doesn't mean it'll be a long series, but uh, I will at least give it a shot. So... Uh, that's the main thing I wanted to discuss with the channel for today is the fact that RuneScape is coming back. Well, more videos are coming back. Quest schedule will be coming back here shortly. Uh, this weekend, I actually plan on doing a bunch of quest guides for it. I'm trying to get myself back into a certain routine that I had beforehand. And once I get that back into place, then things will be back into smooth sailing where I can do certain things. So, yeah. A lot of good things coming, it's just I need to get some things sorted out for you guys. This way I can have better stuff going on for you guys. So that'll do for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Or until next time, later guys.